to. Now this all started with a blog post I wrote earlier this week on the 10 reasons why I've switched from using NetBeans in my personal PHP development work to using Sublime Text 2. I've been using NetBeans for many years now and feature wise I'm very happy with it but there's a few other things not necessarily related to features which made me decide it was time for a change and the first of these things is performance now what you're looking at here is a virtual machine running on my three year old MacBook Pro the MacBook Pro has got a hard drive, it's not got an SSD it's got plenty of RAM and although the CPUs are Core Duos rather than Core i7s it's a snappy machine, there's no performance problems here but what I want you to do is show just how slow NetBeans is when you compare it to Sublime Text 2 so what we're going to do now, we're going to fire up NetBeans here we are, firing it up and we're waiting and we're waiting and it's loading up it's got to parse all these modules here we go, now it's opened now it's got more parsing to do it's got more parsing to do and I'm just going to maximize this window here so we can see just got to wait for that to happen and there we go it's finished scanning the projects it's now usable to type with now because you only open NetBeans once a day not the greatest problem in the world perhaps but it's indicative of the problems you get really with using Java on the desktop there's just a sluggishness about it really and although this is in a virtual machine on a real desktop at work I use a, a very good Core i7 based box with tons of RAM and a, and a very good SSD with trim enabled so there's no performance slowdown you're still waiting for the tool so we scroll around you can see that once it's loaded you can scroll around OK you can right click and things open and it doesn't seem that slow perhaps and certainly for a long time I didn't feel any problems and of course it's got command line complete, sorry, autocomplete which is very handy so I'm just going to type something here there we go, We've got the autocomplete and that takes a moment to pop up but it's very handy to be able to see what's going on let me just delete that, restore the file back to its original state and let's close this down Actually, before I close it down, I just want to highlight one more thing. I want you to take a close look at these fonts. And hopefully, if you're watching this on YouTube in the original resolution I've recorded that, you'll see how sharp these fonts are. They're not anti-aliased at all. And no matter what settings you supply to NetBeans on the command line, and I promise the audience that I have gone through every setting I can find mentioned on the net to try and improve things Java just can't render fonts for the 21st century at the moment in time it's just something Oracle really needs to get to grips with and until they do it's uh, I'm a highly visual person and I find this very tiring after a whole day of use so that's NetBeans, let's close this down I'm going to discard that because we don't want to save that and there we go now last year I was introduced to a text editor called Sublime Text 2 if anyone's used TextMate think of this as the spiritual successor to TextMate it's a very similar idea main differences I guess are this one's under active development and TextMate for many years was not and also the module system for Sublime Text 2 is in Python rather than Ruby horses for courses I guess you would say now I'm running the 32-bit version 
of Sublime Text 2 here at home and in the office I use the 64-bit version and I never notice a difference between the two so let's fire up Sublime Text 2 now okay here we go so it's loading up it's loading up and it's ready to use tons quicker than NetBeans for loading and immediately I hope you can see just how much nicer the fonts look big plus for me isn't just the performance with Sublime Text 2 it's also how nice it is to look at it's a real joy to spend all day looking at this whether it's on a, a MacBook Pro screen a desktop monitor I've got a here at home I've got a very cheap monitor in the office I'm lucky enough to sit in front of a 27 inch uh, Dell monitor which is utterly gorgeous and it's a joy to look at for me personally in front of all of them now the other thing I want to highlight is the fact that unlike uh, NetBeans we've got a lot of folders here on the right hand side I've imported into here all of user share PHP which has got so all the pair packages that are installed on here are available I've got all the modules for fix which is my component editing tool plus additional ones here you can see checked out and I've also got open here the actual Sublime Text 2 config folder the per user config folder with all the packages I've installed for it available and all the packages it installs by default there's a lot of code there on that left hand side and yet Sublime Text 2 opened like that compared to NetBeans and it's so nice to move around as well so for example if we want to go to the file that we're testing here open the test class and it's there we want to move around and I'll go through these features more in later videos I just want to give you a quick idea of the speed so if I want to go to another file uh, let's see we've got down I'm pointing at the screen that's not going to help anybody we've got some switches that I added here so we're looking for a class called defined switch and here in the uh, go to anything pane it's already found it and you can see in the background it's actually already loaded it so if I hit enter we're now in the defined switch file just like that so quick to use I want to jump to a symbol see if I've got this set up yes I have so there's a list of the symbols available there can I get that one open? No, I haven't got that plugin installed yet which allows me to go to all the symbols open I'll demo that in another video it's so quick it's so nice autocomplete's a good one let's have a quick look at autocomplete as well to show you the speed difference so you saw how long in NetBeans it took to open up if we go into here now autocomplete is very different you can see how as I type it's coming up with a list of what's available just like that okay let's clean that out because I don't want that and that's fantastic you see this dialog box has just opened up so because I'm recording this screen um, the MacBook Pro is struggling a bit and so one of the plugins has tripped the built-in warning about how slow plugins are believe you me that plugin's not normally slow but Sublime Text 2 anything slowing you down lets you know there's an emphasis on speed which is fantastic and it's a real antidote after uh, after NetBeans and as I've said in my blog article don't worry about that as I've said in my blog article one of the things about switching between NetBeans and Sublime Text 2 is it's comparable to switching between an uh, old-fashioned magnetic hard disk and then moving to your first SSD. You don't realize how slow things are until they're not anymore. And 
I've had a lot of people on my blog comment that, and also on Twitter, saying that they don't find net being slow. And I understand that. However, once you switch to Sublime Text 2, you realise just how slow NetBeans is. And I'm picking on NetBeans because it's what I used previously, but the other Java IDEs are just the same. They just don't stack up in terms of this type of performance. So that's this video showing you the performance of Sublime Text 2 versus NetBeans. And in the next set of videos I'm going to create, I'm going to go through the different videos, sorry, the different features of Sublime Text 2 and show you how I've got it set up for PHP development. Thank you for watching.